Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, October 17th, 2023 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, beside me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. Well, in the last episode, I attached the side panel of the boat, but after that, it's a lot of work attaching it to all eight frames, fiberglassing on each side of the frame, and then the chine at the bottom, the bow at the front, the transom at the back. It's a ton of work. And yesterday actually marked my two year anniversary for this boat build, but there was no time to celebrate. I've been very productive lately, very busy, getting all that fiberglassing done, as well as a couple other side projects. And uh, I'll show you that momentarily. Before I do that, I wanna ask everyone to please subscribe if you aren't already. I'm inching closer to my 10,000 subscriber goal, so please help me out with that. All right, let's get to work. I've had good motivation lately, and so much progress has been made. The outboard forward portion of the side panel here was fiberglassed and of course the inside of the bow as well. Back here at C2, on to frame C3, C4 through C5. Back in the aft cargo hold, all these seams are done as well. C6, and in the back there, the transom. Here's a quick view from inside the cabin. Over in this compartment, I've reinforced these sections with more fiberglass and drill fill drilled holes for one, two, three, four pad eyes that will support tie downs for this area to keep gear in here secure. And I went ahead and dry fit one just to show you what it will look like. And in the back here, I'll have a couple large washers. But don't worry about the bolts being too long. I've just got some one inch ones delivered that'll be used instead. On the starboard side here, I've glassed in sections of pipe to use as reinforced holes to pass the line through for tie downs. You can see another one up forward there in frame C2. And of course I've mirrored all the work on the port side as well. Also on the port side here, I quickly showed you in the last video that I've added fiberglass to be the backing for the deadlights on the port side there. But I've also drilled holes for one, two, three, four, five, six pad eyes so I can secure gear around here. These two big holes are ready to have a pipe section glassed in. And after a lot of thinking, what I decided was to put D shackles in here for tie downs. I'll show that install in more detail later in the video. Alright, you might remember this hatch lid being made in episode 62. Here it is on its compartment. I spent a while thinking about how best to latch it down, so that if we roll over I don't get a can of beef stew to the head. So I've decided to make a compression style latch mechanism out of some G10 I have. So I'll cut this, it'll go inside the hole, and then a knob will screw down on top using some stainless hardware I already have. So let's get this cut.
Here I'm adding slightly thickened epoxy to the bolt and nylon insert lock nut so that this tightening knob is permanently attached to the bolt. I thought I was done entering the cabin for a while after attaching the starboard side panel, but I realized I could still get inside through this gap, so I can still tackle a couple cabin projects. I'm adding four additional layers of 6 ounce cloth over these tie down points. The area already has three layers of 6 ounce cloth, but I want it reinforced where these shackles will be installed.
Okay, I've dry fit all the stainless here so you can get an idea of what the pad eyes will look like in here. And then where I glassed in the pipe sections in frame C4.5, I thought about it a long time and decided this would be the best solution to use these big D shackles. When you don't need them, they just hang down out of the way. And when you do need them, swing them up and run lines through them. And I figure here I can have a seat cushion and a backrest and these can help hold that in place. And gear could be stowed here with lines wrapped around it to keep them in place. And this will provide a very customizable solution for stowing gear. I realized I need to add a couple pins to keep this centered. I'll sleep better at night knowing that if we have a rollover, I won't get hit by anything launching out of that compartment in the cabin. This has been a great test build for the aft deck locker I'll need to build soon. Its cover will be rectangular and bigger, but I'll probably use two of the similar compression style latches. The only difference is I just need to add a gasket around the lip and then it should be pretty watertight. And then the compartment will also feature a drain. So any water that does get in will be able to drain out through the transom through a through hole that'll be just above the water line. Well, if you enjoyed the episode, please do me a favor, leave me a comment with your thoughts and give me a thumbs up. And a big thank you to everyone on Patreon who has supported me for these two years. If you'd like to help out, Patreon is a great way to do it or the Amazon wish list. But hey, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next one. Support yes. to make all preparations for getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's that? Home. Uh, Home. Uh, Home. Uh, get back to your station or I'll have you shot from here. Uh, well, shoot, suck. Uh,